Welcome back. If you're new around here, we're Charlie and Tasha, and we travel in our self-converted van with our two dogs, Riley and Winnie. This week, we continue our road trip south through Portugal, take on a traditional Portuguese baking class, and park our home on wheels in some incredible coastal spots. Good morning, welcome back to We Bought a Van. Check out this park up where we're currently parked. Absolutely incredible. These park ups are the norm in Portugal. They are everywhere and they are fantastic. The only downside to this little park up, and it's only small, is that it's cliffed. Um, and we can't actually get down to that beach sensibly, um, which means we can't put dogs down there, but the view makes up for it. We're gonna make some pancakes for breakfast, sit and enjoy this view. And then this afternoon, Tasha's book uh, a Portuguese baking class where you get to like bake like pastel donatas and stuff. Uh, something you wanted to do whilst we're here, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, really wanted to try a baking class. Right, yeah, we're gonna go and do that this afternoon. <laughs> Millionaires view on a budget. That's how we do things. You're not having any pancake. You're not having any pancake. So out with Jack, because you're going to try and find a little path down to this uh, this beach. Hopefully, I don't think we can get down there since we'll have a look. What do you reckon? There are footprints on the beach from yesterday, so somebody's got down here somehow. But it's not... Tash wouldn't want to come down here, that's for sure. <laughs> it's not very nice. It's very crumbly. But it must be able to get down there. We come along here, down, and there's a ladder. <laughs> that's the dog walk out of the question. There's been recently a big landslide here, I think, which has messed it all up. I reckon you could have got down here before. It's such a shame, it's such a nice beach, you can't get to it. These two are a bit groggy this morning because uh, they had their rabies, European va rabies vaccination yesterday to keep their passports up to date. And it makes them a bit funny for a few days. They're just like a bit lethargic and a bit tired, which is maybe a good thing because you can't get down to the beach anyway, so otherwise they'd be running wild. This is a proper playground, isn't it? Off they go. Oh. Well, the weather's very mixed today. It's sort of sunshine and showers today, which um, we've been very lucky with the weather lately, so we can't complain. We just can wait for a little gap and then get these dogs out for a walk, I think, and go and explore this beach, because it's a beautiful beach. Unfortunately, I was, like, I said, small, like we said this morning, we couldn't get to it further down where we were parked, but this spot we now can. Um, yeah, go have a look. 
you want to go beachy? You want to go beach, don't you? You want to go to the beach? We're parked on the cliffs. Lovely little beach there. It's very it's protected by the rocks, so it's like the wind's quite low here, which is really nice. Because the winds last night were high. We noticed it while we were parked. Looking forward to our little cooking class, our baking class this afternoon. It should be good fun. Then find somewhere to park for the evening. That's the plan for today. Driven down to Malvira this afternoon. This is where we are doing the baking course that Tash wanted to do, which looks really good fun. Yeah, so we've parked the van just in a free car park. Um, it's literally two minutes away from the bakery, which is quite good, so dogs will be quite happy here. Well, the heavens have opened here. It is pissing it down. Quite a good afternoon to um, go and do this, I think, because we'd only be sat in the van anyway. Spent the afternoon learning how to make the famous traditional Portuguese treats, pasta de natas. We booked the baking workshop through Airbnb, which was a really easy process. We are not the best or most experienced bakers, so we love that the workshop was informative whilst also being informal. cooking class which was bloody good so much and fun. Uh, the two couples that, were, that we did it with as well were really really nice and it's really 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 good fun shame about the weather at the moment it's god awful we had to run back because we didn't film anything at the end of it yeah we'll leave the link below for what we've just done because I, we haven't we didn't film too much because obviously it's a bit intrusive with other people there but it's really i highly highly recommend it if you're near lisbon it's just on the outskirts of lisbon malvira not madeira highly recommend it because i'm um, really good and it's like 50 euros per person and you get a lot for like they at the end you just have a coffee and chill out and uh they bring round the your produce that you've made and you can just eat it and chat and so yeah. good so we need to find a spot to stay at tonight um joe and jack joe and jack <laughs> God, let me harp on about Joe and Jack. A little bit south of us, they've been and uh, done something today. They're currently in contact with us. They're trying to find a spot. Hopefully they find a spot or we'll find a spot and we'll tie up and go and uh, relax for the evening. I think it's going to be a bit of a wet one, unfortunately, but it's what it is. So yeah, we'll see where we end up. Uh, trying to find a spot, um, this bit you show on the sand now. This bit here, this is where we wanted to stay tonight. Here's Lisbon, we wanted to stay here. Um, but unfortunately that spot, is, they've really clamped down on vans being in that area. I think it's quite touristy as, in respect of like um, holiday, you know, all-inclusive holidays and stuff. So we're actually gonna head on quite a bit south. So it's 
over an hour of driving, which we don't really like to do. And also we're getting to the destination in the dark, which is another thing we don't like to do. But um, it sort of gets us out of that area which they've clamped down on to a bit of a, what we prefer, a nice wild park up on the beach, similar to what we were in this morning. So yeah, we're gonna kick on about an hour now. It's a nice drive, it's a nice evening, sun's gonna set. Uh, it should be really nice to see. And uh, yeah, make our way down there. It's unfortunate we can't park where we wanted, but you know, that's the way things go. So uh, yeah. Oh, I feel I'm lost. Whatever happened to me happened for my highest good. I read that in so many books, now it's almost understood. I'm moving on and on. On and on. I'm moving on. To our spot this evening we've arrived in the dark so there's nothing to show you um but yeah it seems okay we're a bit it's right on the coast we can hear the sea obviously can't see it yeah we're just gonna make some dinner and relax for the night and that was a bit of a crappy drive down uh very busy around lisbon right. hey yeah so we're gonna uh settle in for the night now and hopefully we'll have something pretty cool to show you in the morning i think this park up from what i've seen on google looks really good so yeah we'll catch you then this is where we made it to last night. Yeah, when we arrived, it was pitch black, so we couldn't see anything. So we literally just bunged it in next to Joe and Jack. It's sort of a sand base here. That would be fine on the old terrain. Yeah, great. It's a little beach just down here, um, right on the coast. Stay here for the whole weekend, I think. That's pretty good. Might even be able to get the fishing rods up for the first time in Portugal, which would be incredible. Can you believe we've got a nice quiet park up? Look at the view. I can't believe this. Oh, for f sake. Arrived here in the middle of the night. <laughs> Did you park any close? Thoughts on this spot? Yeah, it's very nice. It's very quiet. A lot quieter than we used to have the Bali Island. But... Yeah. We actually woke up over here near Joe and Jack. Yeah, we moved to this spot. Absolutely incredible. gonna set up here now um maybe stay here for a couple of days Winnie away from the edge sweetheart An absolute beauty This is what I envisaged, I must admit, when we came to Portugal. This is what I thought it was gonna be like. Beachside park ups, the brownish reddish sand, seen photos of it on Instagram and YouTube videos and stuff. And yeah, this is it. This is this is the park up that I thought it was gonna be like. And we've even got our own private beach. Can't be bad, can it? So yeah, if you're thinking about coming to Portugal in your van, you won't go far wrong. Good we got the lift kit coming in here. A lot of bomb holes, a lot of deep sand. The tires of, uh, are earning their money in these sort of areas to just be able to get to little spots like this. But I'm gonna try and get down to the little secret beach below where we're parked. Um, saw two guys go down there earlier, a little bit treacherous, but doable. With two spaniels, we're gonna get down there. So yeah, we're gonna go and have a bit of a look and. Uh, because once the tide's in, in about three, four hours, we won't be able to get down there. location this is nobody else here i did see two people walk down here this morning actually but it's not the nicest of a uh, treks down yay what tennis balls well right, this one is me.
cider. Come on. A little cider on the beach. What are you calling this, Jack? A, a seasider cider. A yeah. cider by the seasider. No. Frank. So you're gonna get the out again, aren't you? Back to Mum. You just gonna tell her all about the beach? We've had a hell of a run. So today we're heading back down the old treacherous path, down to the secret beach. So I don't think it's that secret, we're calling it a secret because you can barely see it from where we're parked. Um, it's sort of a bit calmer today. There are some big rollers coming in, but yeah, it'd be nice, I don't really swim, apart from when we're on the surfboards, obviously swim a little bit, but not a proper swim in Portugal, so we're gonna go have a little look today. So the swim was a massive uh, fail. Huge, and a total utter failure. I got a lovely big slice price. on my foot. Jack is brutal. It looks like he's been in an MMA fight. It's unbelievable. <laughs> this is quite calm. And then these big rollers, which are literally coming in now, they just batter you. And we weren't expecting that. It was really calm. And then within literally two to three seconds, boof, massive set. So I think we'll be staying on the beach today. <laughs> Probably a reason why there's those advisory signs down at the beach. Joe managed to get a video of us falling over in the um, sea. I think it looks pathetic, but one thing I will say is there's a lot of rocks on the bottom, hence why Jack is so cut up and I've got a little cut on my foot. Um, the, waves, the waves are bigger in real life. And it gets deep very quick yeah. there. And then we just managed to catch some rollers, which is bloody stupid to be honest. I remember my first swim, do you? <laughs> Why don't you two go in? <laughs> Come on. If you are not the one, not the one for me, then tell me now what I could do. If I told you that. We've just been re-watching the videos of me and Jack falling over in the sea earlier, which are uh, a lot more embarrassing than I thought they were going to be. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, you would have already seen those by now. Uh, yeah, we're going to leave you there. Uh, thanks for coming along this week. I think it's actually been quite a good video. We've been to plenty of cool park-ups this week, which hopefully you found helpful. Uh, once again, all the park for nights, all the what three words I think uh, people find easiest to use, I will link down below in the description, so they're there for you to use, no problem. And highly recommend the baking uh, cooking class it yeah. it's really 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 good subscribe to us drop us a comment let us know where you are what you're up to if you're building a van or planning on coming out so thank you very much see you soon see you on the next one If I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper